Yo, what's up, guys? It's GMC back at it again with another video. It's myself, Shiro Ige, Loops, and Spicy. Yeah, so it's just us three today because we're caught up on the One Piece chapter. So, yeah, um, the chapter 1102, is The Life of Kuma, has just dropped. So, we're doing a review of it and just giving our thoughts and opinions on it. And yeah, so let's start. Completely love Kuma, basically. Yeah, so it's so, the end of his story, basically, like the flashback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And next week we're gonna go back to the um, Egghead Island arc stuff. So yeah, so the chapter pretty much starts off with Bonnie going around and trying to look for Kuma and where he is, because Kuma's basically gone. He she hasn't received any letters and she's just like worried at the moment, like where is he? Where, where is he? And like yeah, yeah. what she was trying to do is like make a name for herself. So she gets known and Kuma can hear her. Yeah, yeah. Kuma, Kuma can see her. Yeah. Like acknowledge yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the chapter is pretty much a lot of that. But we get to see Kuma's point of view. Yeah, so he sees the point of view of like how he sees Luffy and his straw yeah. and progress. Yeah. So it's like behind the scenes of this. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, yeah. So like it pretty much starts off with us seeing Luffy achieving his first bounty, which was his thirty thousand yeah, bounty, yeah, oh. and that's when he first defeated Arlong, right? Yeah, yeah, he defeated Arlong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it shows a lot of like characters as well, like Sabo, Dragon, and the Ace showing the Wanted poster. Like news was spreading, and then Kuma was like, um, "Well, curious twist of fate, Dragon. You think your boy will become a pirate?" Like. Kuma was starting to believe yeah, yeah. that his son might be someone important later on in life. Hey boy, hey boy. So yeah, um, there were a, lot of, a few nice touches as well. Like Bunny, for instance, it showed why she got uh, that lipstick and that piercing oh, as yeah. well. Because she's a top year old, like we found out. But she basically she got told by some random old man. That's that's not actually how you wear wake up makeup. Like, yeah. Look at the lipstick. Like so, like she was trying to act like a grown up. Yeah. 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 She was actually a troll. Like, this whole I love how Oda does these small little details. Just yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. Just flesh out a character. Yeah. We just thought she was like that, but no, like she just doesn't know. Yeah, she's actually a little girl like this yeah. whole time. That's so crazy. Mm. I, didn't, I didn't expect that. And then we jumped over to Egghead Island where um, they were walking around. I think it was Vegapunk and Kuma basically walking around, and they were being seen like the models of the pacifists. Yeah, the pacifists. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, they didn't plan this. They used the the um, Gorosei used the pacifists for their own. Yeah, like they, for the evil doings. Yeah, yeah. and they Egget. Uh, I mean, uh, Egget. What's his name? Uh, Vegapunk. Uh, sorry, Vegapunk. Vegapunk. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he wanted it for peace, like you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what pacifists yeah, stood exactly. for. Yeah, like peace. Yeah. Like that's what Kuma wanted. But the government, man, they yeah. messed it up proper. So it's nice. Throughout the chapter, we got like a little bits of flashbacks, like. The thriller box stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Like when Kuma went to attack, um, so he went to take Luffy's uh, head yeah, rubber, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then cool. Zoro intervened, and he's like, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh my god, nothing happened. Nothing more. Just blood. Holy shit. Holy and shit. the words Zoro said to us or to Kuma, he was like, Luffy is the man who become the king of the pirates. That reached out to Kuma. Yeah, yeah. And like. He started to understand like Luffy might be the one. Yeah, might be the one. Yeah, he right. actually might be the, yeah. one. the one. And what was interesting as well, he said something like, "This much damage might be enough to even knock me out." So like, Zoro's endurance, like how much blood, like, like what is he made yeah, of? Yeah, exactly. Kuma's a buccaneer as well. Yeah, so. buccaneer yeah. race. Like and that. That made it more um uh, what's the word? emphasis yeah, on yeah, yeah. because like. That, 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 from Kuma's eyes, you can see like, oh, damn, that he can do this much for Luffy. Well, who is Luffy? He can become that guy. Like, yeah, you know, the, the fact that he convinced the entire crew yeah. that he is going to become the yeah. pirates. So yeah, he even said he has exceptional friends. So that's what I expect of your son, Dragon. So yeah, it was like the main bits for Kuma saw. So he jumped over to Sabodi Archipelago, where when they announced the execution of Ace, and the war with Whitebeard pirates. So whilst that was happening as well, um, Luffy was there, and that legendary scene happened with um, thing with Luffy where he punched the Celestial Dragon. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, oh my yeah. god. That was huge. Yeah, that was huge. That, like, that, that's that's one of the best did, moments. Yeah. That, that could have been the Tempest Dog. Like, who the hell put this in the dragon? That was a whole Buster Gold. Mm. Like, oh my days. That's why Kuma was like, wow. So Kuma's just hearing like bits and bits and bits about Luffy and yeah. thinking like, damn, he could be the one, you know? Become Joy Boy. So yeah, um, he pretty much punched a Celestial Dragon and even Kuma was struck like someone actually punched a Celestial yeah, Dragon. Exactly, yeah. He goes down there. And he sees yeah. it's the straw hat pirates again. again. Like what? Like, like what? Again? Why? Why they keep coming like, up? Like what? There must be a fate, like something. Like oh my days! Like you could even see it. Like he's like he did it to protect the fishermen. Like not even a human. Yeah, like, well, yeah. He doesn't care what race you are. Exactly. Yeah. Like you know, that's crazy. That's what he saw as well. Like oh my days! He even said like so straight from the manga. No one has done anything this bold for hundreds and hundreds of years. So like. Someone's actually standing up to the world government. Exactly, for the, first the time. government. Like, oh my god. Like, this is huge. Yeah. So, like, a little throwback as well, like, to the PCPX1 stuff, the pacifistas, when, remember, they were trying to attack the Straw Hats? Oh, yeah. But Kuma intervened. Yeah. So, Kuma actually saved them. Saved, like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he didn't send them all away, but he did save them as well. Because if he didn't send them away, they all would have been jailed. Like, because mm. there would be two weak kids everyone was there. Like, they would have lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, a little throwback to that arc as well. Like he went over to Rayleigh, and I he secretly said to him like he's gonna send them over, was like save them. So it's interesting because we thought Kumo was completely a cyborg. Remember, but it looks like from this chapter, yeah, he still brought thriller back. He has still he had still his consciousness. Has, yeah, the subconsciousness. Yeah. Like he was still there. Yeah. Like, like we thought it was completely cyborg because remember we saw his shoulder. Like, yeah, yeah. Was, we had no idea. Was, yeah, what the hell? So now that we're slowly seeing like his point of view, like it's insane. This is crazy, yeah. And yeah, so Kumo was like, at least I can leave my own quiet mark on the world through Bonnie and this young boy. So he entrusted his future. He was willing to throw his life away. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because like, yeah, he was yeah. going to lose his mind. Yeah. So he left his future to this young boy, Luffy, who he doesn't even really know. He just, yeah. So he's basically just he's a never met. actually he's spoke just to him. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, he never, he's yeah. yeah, he's never. Yeah, he's never. Yeah, he's just a And he bet yeah, he just, his future just on like him Apple. and Bonnie. And like, yeah. he teleported them away. And he's like, the future will be the only legacy I can leave behind. So, yeah, that was the iconic scene where Luffy was punching the floor. Oh, that, like, that was so emotional. Yeah. Like, oh my he couldn't save any of them. But, like, the what's crazy is if we were to do a One Piece rewatch. Our view of One Piece yeah. would be different. Man. So different. Be just so like, different. It would be so different. Oh my days. Because back then we like kind of hated Kuma. Like, what's he doing? Yeah, man? yeah, yeah. But then like Kuma himself, it, it like deep down it was like, you got it wrong. I'm just showing you the level you have to be in the new world. You and your friends just aren't ready yet. So like, in a way, he was like a secret straw hat member. Like, exactly. He yeah. was looking over them this whole time. The whole time. Like, they made it with Kuma's help. Yeah. Where they are now, yeah, and then there. this panel itself, like you will someday yeah, save the world. So, like, he, he just betted it. He just He's it. betting his entire future like, on wow. Luffy. Because he just kept coming up, coming up, like he, like there must be something. Mm. So he just betted it, like wow. So yeah, uh, there was a bit of conversation with like the Gorosei Saturn himself. That guy's trash, man. Like he's heartless. He's literally a devil. Yeah, man. he's a devil, man. Like. like He's basically making Kuma lose his mind and like making our self destruct mechanism, mechanism. Like, just basically a robot that has no emotion, nothing. Like, so sad. So, he gives like the final order as well. Like, he's so straight from Saturn himself. He's like, he raises even individuality completely. Make sure no trace of him remains. You won't be forgiven if you don't. Remember, I too I am a man of science. Any attempts to deceive me will fail. But if you remember, I think there's a memory or a bubble, or a, bubble, a yeah, huge bubble that's, of oh, Kuma. Yeah. That's in Egghead. That's yeah. in Egghead. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we're thinking that Kuma is going to return oh, yeah, to the island and get his memories back and defeat Saturn with that like yeah, big yeah, memory, yeah, yeah, like his yeah. entire life memory basically. Like I can see this happening now. Like Kuma has that one last opportunity. But the thing is, he has to touch that bubble basically. In order for it to yeah 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 but if anyone else touches it as well like it goes away from us but bonnie touched it slightly but that's because it was inside that thing yeah, it was like a peak yeah, yeah, yeah she peeked into it she peeked into it yeah yeah so yeah um this is what all of bonnie's scene right now 
Because everything is bloody yeah. female. So what really got us moving when I was reading it was this conversation with Vegapunk. When he's like, he's like to Vegapunk. Uh, he wants Vegapunk to basically program Kuma to do one last thing, which was to protect the sh- ship of the Straw Hat Pirates. Wow. Just until one of them returns. Like not even, God. not even like go to Jenny Straw Hat Pirates. Yeah. Like, yeah. One then, loss. One oh loss God. before his mind got erased. And then if you see, we saw how he was just protecting the ship outside. Yeah, so you know when Frankie returned, yeah. yeah. And Frankie was him just, yeah. And Frankie told us, well, like, oh, whatever his intentions was, he just he, he protected like, our ship. Like, wow. Damn. From and, the, yeah. yeah. From all the way from then to now, we understand that. Now we understand it. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. like, there were theories, of course, and small yeah, things, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. Man, oh, Oda's cooking. Oda, let's go, man. But yeah, he said, like, just until one of them returns, I like to be stubborn. A stubborn guardian for their home since i won't be able to witness their continued growth so kuma's been watching over them yeah the whole... and like this one last thing he did for them even when he was going out yeah, and then vegapunk is confused like what kind of future are you dreaming up of that boy exactly like and that. then kuma himself is like his actions have really moved me i know nika is meant to be a legend but oh it'd God. be great if there really was a warrior out there putting smile on faces Using the rhythm of liberation. Oh. The rhythm I taught Bunny. Oh my god. Like, and oh. if there is a hero out there one day that will change the seas one day, I believe it will be him. him. Luffy, I don't know. Luffy is that guy. Yeah, he is the warrior is of liberation, guy. Nika. Oh my god. It's crazy how basically the hands of liberation is pointing his faith on the warrior of liberation. Exactly. Like, and he had no idea. Like, he is Joy Boy now. Yeah. He, we saw it against yeah, exactly. He is Joy Boy. Oh, they get to see Luffy. Oh my God! I well, I'm see. begging you, Oda. Yeah. One last time. <laughs> let, let Kuma see. <laughs> Kuma see. He can only do one last. Everything is been through. He deserves this. Exactly, time. man. Everything is been through. It'll be so, so much, much more messed up though if Kuma just dies. Yeah, Wait, man. Man. I think he's gonna get his memories back. There's a reason why his memories still. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. He has to. Yeah. Oh so, um, Basically, um, he's like, he put it in a bubble and then he's like, so this is my life. I wonder how many people have been harmed or troubled by my actions. Because he's basically about to turn the sidewalk and all of this is going to happen now. Oh. And then the, the next page that was showing Kuma running around, that was one of the best pages of 2023, I am personally. Because Kuma's been the best character. Yeah, Kuma, 100%. 100%. Yeah, 100 Really? Just 2023, yeah, 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 Kuma's yeah, yeah. been the best yeah, yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So this panel of him running, you see the parents, you see Ivankov, you see Ginny, she always used to call him Kumachi. Um, and Kuma wins bear as well, like, there's so many little there's things. So many little Dragon, things. Oh the, the revolutionary Ginny growing up, her daughter, like, just Jin, like, Kuma kept running. Yeah. He never gave up, like, exactly. he kept moving, like, he, he kept, kept moving. moving. He's been through the worst, like, he's seen people die in front of him, but, he did not stop running, like he just kept going forward, like. And look, now you, in that pan, that page, you can see him standing still right there. Yeah, uh, like. like that's and you know, this yeah. almost made me cry. Like yeah, it, yeah. it made me cry. Like I shed a tear. Like Vegapunk was like, "Your life hasn't caused anyone harm or trouble, but your death will pain everyone who loves you." Oh. Listen well, Kuma. You are a hero really too. Like not only for Bunny, but for everyone you've ever met. Wow. Like. What's yeah. sad is, in a way, the Straw Hat Pirates don't know he's done all of this. Exactly. Yeah. Like, oh my days. Oh man, like, you can't be doing this. Only anymore. Vegapunk knows about he can't be. Kuma. He's suffered enough. Exactly. He's suffered enough. Oh man, I wonder if no know. one knows what Kuma Yeah, he's, he oh. don't, they don't know. Like, yeah. Zoro and all of them, they, they don't, don't know. know anything. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's just a robot. Like, oh. like, Kuma has been a real one. Like, been a real one, man. Holy shit. Like, Vegapunk just. Walling out, just completely breaking down, and then we see uh, him completely turning the cyborg. That's when he completely was gone. Yeah, yeah. like completely. He had slight oh, punches, I guess, stuff, I guess. Uh, like yeah. just a little. Just a tiny, tiny. Because I think Vegapunk did say he put like a switch on him for like swip, split his yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he will come back. I can see him coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is great. Scholar. So this yeah. is this is what Kuma said at the end. If you see her again. Could you tell her something for me? So he says this to One Vegapunk. last thing. One last thing. Please wish her a uh, happy, happy 10th birthday. That is so messed up if you like read the His daughter is the only thing in his heart. He never got to say that to her like... Oh my 
Yeah, yeah. Because who would the best cop burn? Yeah, he does. They were just burning it. Yeah. So yeah. He, she didn't see yeah. it. Exactly. Like, oh my. But now yeah. I think through this she saw it. Yeah, through yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. So she's, she's crying. Yeah. Oh, now we see why she was crazy. crying so much from Jennifer Lawrence. Like, but Kuma, I mean Oda has cooked up like the best character. Like Kuma. I'm saying, and One Piece is my top two favorite. He's my top two favorite. Yeah. Who would be number one? Oh, of course, Luffy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm going through that now. Like I love Kuma. Like Kuma. Yeah, I understand Kuma. He's a he's a real one. Like Kuma. he bet his life on yeah, Luffy. Yeah, exactly. He didn't even speak to Luffy. You know that? Yeah. And he bet his it's life. Not on that. Luffy. It's not even just like if you remember in his past year, he used to help our random villagers and things, yeah. bringing all the pain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever oh, stuff every day. Every like, yeah. Every week. Like, every week. Oh, the amount of like shit he's done for other people and like people don't appreciate him is crazy. Like. Like no one in One Piece apart from Vegapunk knows. I think we could everyone agrees on this is the best flashback in all, the whole of One Piece. The yeah. best, the man. best. Because yeah. how are you linking so many arcs? Thriller Park, exactly. somebody, yeah. like exactly. so many, yeah. like yeah. what? what the hell? Oh, this is, this is you can never touch this. Right this peak. Lotus. And like if you think about it, Kuma's a side character. He's not even one of the main yeah. characters. Yeah. Side like I'm um, body like. We hardly see yeah, her throughout the story. Seen no one of that body would ever be this important. Yeah. When I first saw, I thought she'd just be around. Yeah, I thought character. she was. I can't lie. I thought she was gonna be around. Yeah, yeah, same, same. Was, and like, this is what the other characters Oda will be cooking. Like, oh my days. Oh like, my this God. is insane. Like, what Oda's done. Like, oh my days. But that was, yeah, that was amazing. Like, that chapter crazy. was one of the best chapters. But the, the only sad thing from it was the, the break next week. <laughs> That was one of the best chapters. Kuma's one of the best characters in One Piece now. Um, so it was a fitting conclusion to Kuma's um, past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, next week we're gonna be jumping on back to the present, and that's gonna go crazy. Yeah. Like, well, well, the week after next week. Yeah, the week after next year. <laughs> the week next week. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's been it for the review slash reaction to it. Um. We're thinking of doing a, a theory video next week since there won't be any chapter but let us know down in the comments below what you thought of the chapter did it live up to your expectations like did you think uh the flashback was dragged out or like was do you think it was fine like but i thought it was perfect it was perfect, perfect. Yeah. It was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah i know they threw it in like in the middle of that fight but it's perfect it was needed yeah. it gave us so many answers yeah. we wanted yeah the God Valley and like Oh yeah, the God Valley stuff, yeah, all yeah. of so that, much like, stuff, so man. much stuff we learned. Oh but yeah, that's pretty much it for the reaction. It's been TMZ guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below on your opinions and press that bell button. Peace out. Peace.